tumole hantu tumole Zimbabwe, because of the AIDS pandemic, has the highest number of orphans per capita in the world, 1.6 million. As the most appropriate capacity building, the aid volunteer partners chose to address the psychological and emotional needs of these often marginalized and vulnerable children. Volunteers thus developed innovative tools using creative arts, sports and games to allow for the children to express themselves to be counseled on common and very specific issues but also to share solutions um, any art form as well as any game or any type of sports holds implicit counseling opportunities so what is this all about is about identifying these implicit counseling opportunities and creating sessions using creative arts in such a way that these implicit counseling opportunities are brought to the fore and our target is pretty much to use hip hop as a means to counsel kids and that for them to open up about a lot of the social issues that they have. least, he found that using theater games and exercises was a useful way to help people address um, oppressive situations um, that they went through as, and were victimized by and be able to heal from those situations. It's a brilliant way to use, to use as a tool to like counsel people because it's active. Kids began to lighten up, kids began to open up through puppetry or through... We're really like, we're owning up with the dolls, portraying uh, what was happening to um, them. Capoeira is already being used uh, in helping disadvantaged children and trying to help them express their aggression in a positive way. So we decided to take a step further. So we sat down and we listed several values that we thought that were intrinsic to the helping in playing capoeira. And these values were skill, discipline, respect, confidence, playful, friendly and trying. And with these values, we try and relate how the kids can use them in a positive way and try and interact in a successful way. Counseling sessions help children to be able to interact with other children, their peers, caregivers, brothers and sisters or siblings. The common problems are sexual abuse, lack of school fees, parents who are ill, lack of love, bullying at school. So and then they draw, they choose the protagonist, the, the, the main character who is an animal. Then the animal expresses how they feel about the problem and how it's affecting them. Children are going to the now they're back, they're going to school. Probably when I went there, it was two days, two or three days ago. There are only three children left on it, from maybe 50 children. All of them are at school right now. It's about bullying, child abuse, and much more. Poem. Last week we did a poem about a child who was called Fidamou, and the child was abused by a stepmother. If his father, his mother died and his father took another woman, so he was abused. Most children they come and they just see them do their own activities and they're interacting and respecting them. Little kids have actually got a platform now to tell us how they feel in their homes without reservation.